Hello everybody, this is Hussam Horani again. Today we'll talk about uh, regression and we will focus on polynomial uh, regression with very interesting lesson. Uh, let's, uh, let's move directly to an example. So what I'm gonna do today, I'm gonna use um, paint data and I will explain to you exactly how the regression works. So in the paint data, I'm gonna uh, just select one category, which is C. So we have X and we have Y, let's say X and Y. So uh, I'm gonna draw some data. So uh, I'm gonna put some here, there, 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 and there, just like just an example, okay? And you can do whatever data you want. And uh, I painted now the data. I painted the, the data by having these, you know, points in X and Y um, uh, space. So <clears throat> if I want to see the, the data set that I just created, I will connect to data set, data table, okay? And from the data table, you can see that you have X, Y, you have eight points. Eight points, you have X and Y for each point. So, um, of course, this data, you can save it if you want. You can uh, connect to save data and you can save it as Excel sheet if you want. Okay, put it as Excel sheet. You can just save it and you can use it. From pen data, I'm gonna connect to polynomial polynomial regression. And this is very interesting thing because if you double click, okay, let me just put this uh, as zero. Um, if we put in the polynomial degree zero, this is means line. And it's trying to fit this line within this, you know, space within these points, but it, it didn't because uh, you have just one uh, degree for this polynomial. If you increase it uh, into one, it will try to start fitting the, the, the data you draw. Uh, if we increase to the uh, second degree, uh, it tried now to, you know, fit the data into your points. If we increase it also, uh, it will try to fit uh, till we reach maybe four, let, let have this five, five, Okay, I will click A so I can zoom. And from here, you can see that this uh, diagram almost fit into this, into my data that I draw, that I draw. So uh, this is this is what regression all about, is really to try to map or try to fit your curve, your data, your data. Let's keep it five. Uh, by keeping it five, uh, I can see do two things. A data table, which is the coefficient, these are the uh, x to 0, x to 1. These are these are the co coefficients. And I can see the actual also data and all the details by having data to data. OK. And as you can see, you can see all these data in this uh, details. Now, uh, the question, can I do prediction in the painted data? I can. So we have x and y. We have x and y data, which is here. X and Y. So I'm gonna put data set with X and I, uh, I will ask the polynomial regression to predict Y. So I prepared a uh, simple Excel sheet, which is this one. So I put here X and I put it, I put some, some uh, data like this one. See, 0 0.4, 0 0.7, 1, uh, 0.15, etc. Okay, this is the painted data uh, predict. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna connect this one to prediction, prediction. And from prediction, I'm gonna connect this to uh, my data, which is the Excel sheet. So I'm gonna use file, file. And I'm gonna connect this file into the uh, painted data predicted Excel, which I just showed you. I will also put it in the GitHub for you to, to review, okay? And I re gonna reconnect this one uh, model to predictor, model to predictor, yes. And we, from here, you can see that the polynomial regression has predicted these values. So if you have 0 0.4, you will have 0 0.6. Let's, let's uh, okay, if we have 0 0.7, you can have 0 0.8. Let's go into this point to, to double check it. So 0 0.7, uh, it should be 0 0.8. Let's, let's go and check it in the, uh, the, the uh, polynomial regression. So 0 0.8, 0 0.7, 0, 0 0.7 almost. Yes, 0 0.8, exactly, exactly, see? So it tried to fit this point in the curve and get Y from the curve, 
get y from the curve this is the regression and this is how you paint data and you do a prediction so this is a very interesting lesson because because it teach you different things what is polynomial regression and it uh, showed us that the more you increase uh, the uh, the uh, polynomial degree the more you fit into your model uh, like this one of course there are some options you can you can play with but this is the polynomial regression and this is how we done prediction i will leave the workflow and all the data uh, into the um, into the uh, uh, github so you can use and you can predict the data the way you want so this is the lesson for today i hope you, you enjoyed it and you start uh, feeling and seeing the simplicity of orange data mining and uh, uh, as you can see it's very rich you can so do many things and in the coming lessons in the yani, I will I think reach 70 lessons so you will see different things uh, different scopes different uh, examples in the data mining in regression in the dimension reduction clustering uh, all uh, uh, all all things time series so we will try to explain uh, this model in details so we'll see you next uh, next lesson and goodbye